What's up, Geek Girl World? I'm Ari, and this is part two of our roundtable interview that we participated in with Ashley Eckstein. Now, in this part, Ashley is talking about the Her Universe clothing line. She's come out with a lot of great new styles and just really has broadened the scope of what geek couture is. So, take a listen. Okay. Hi, Bria from Hi. White Hot Room and yes. Station. Um, I'm going to switch over from Ahsoka to the more fashion side of things. <laughs> um, I know that you probably can't make any huge announcements about anything, but as far as new products that are coming out, I was wondering whether or not you, you foresee us getting anything with other members of the Rebels cast, like Hera. Yes, so I definitely owe Hera something. <laughs> and, and to be honest, we had a Hera design, and I just wasn't that pleased with it yet. Um, you know, I I remember back when I started, I made the mistake at, at Dragon Con once, <laughs> saying yep. that yeah, I think we'll do a T-shirt that says my boyfriend drives the Millennium Falcon. You could have heard a pin drop in that room. <laughs> and even though I was the girl that wanted to pilot the Millennium Falcon myself, I fell into that cliche of like, okay, well, I guess it's a girl's shirt and that's what we should put on it. And that was literally her universe was brand new at that point. Like we had just launched. And that was a big learning uh, lesson for me because I'm like, you know what? That's not the shirt that I would want. I would want the shirt that says my other, you know, car is the Millennium Falcon, not a car, but you, you know what I'm saying, I, or I'd rather be flying the Millennium Falcon. And um, so I definitely was working on a shirt for girls uh, and women that says Captain of the Ghost because, you know, that's Hera. And that's that's really cool to have, you know, a female Captain of the Ghost. And so that shirt is coming, uh, but it, it, it just, it, it wasn't finalized and I didn't want to re release the shirt until I was like, yeah, that's the right design. So it's coming and, and, and more is coming for Hera and, and the characters of Rebels. So um, definitely look for more and, and look for more for little girls too. Um, we're, we, we released a couple new uh, designs for girls here at Celebration, but more is coming. And um, that's something that for several reasons I wasn't able to expand on the girls line before. and. Um, just all sorts of issues uh, and a lot of it is just even production and, and now we're figuring it out and, and I'm so excited so look for girls, women, plus sizes, it's, it's all coming, it's all in the works. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> Nancy from Dodging Station. Hi. <laughs> um, going into like how you come up with ideas for products, I'm sure it's different for each line but how does it go about like does it, is it there a team or just do you say I, I want to do an X-Wing cardigan or, you know, or do you listen to fans? Is yeah. What the process is like? Great question and all of the above. Uh, you know, we have a, a fairly small team for her universe. I mean, we're still a small company. I'm excited to say that in June uh, we'll be turning five, so it'll be our fifth birthday. But. Um, you know, we're still a small team at the end of the day, so, um, but it's it's made up mostly of women, and um, we, especially for the celebration line, we got together with our team, uh, I think it was probably like five of us sitting around a table that day, and we're all fans, I mean, everyone's a fan, and um, so we just started throwing out ideas, and uh, it was definitely a collaborative effort, a group effort, and um, I had been paying t attention to what the fans have been asking for for a while, which was longer dresses, maybe more pinup style, rockabilly, more cardigans. And so that day I really brought a bunch of inspiration to the table of what the fans have been asking for. It's like, okay, here's what they want. We want, you know, the, this style of dress, this style of cardigan, and let's figure out what to put on it. So, and then I'm, I mean, literally daily, I'm on. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and our honorary fangirl, Dan Madsen, is also <laughs> on social media every day, and he's, you know, relaying the information if I, you know, don't see something. So, it's all of the above. I mean, 100% fans are influencing what we offer. Um, so, uh, you know, I would just say, you know, I've said from the beginning, this is a group effort. It, this isn't just my company. This is for everyone. And we cannot succeed if we don't do it together. And I, I will say this, not to go off on a tangent because this isn't necessarily your question, but I, I've 
I've read a lot of articles recently um, about women wanting more merchandise for women in bigger re and girls in retail locations. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to say this fall, especially, we're working on a couple things, um, but we are working on more merchandise that will be in uh, more high profile stores um, and also even more in Disney stores and in Disney parks. Mm -hmm. And how you can help is by buying it. And because the only thing that speaks is, is, is money and sales. And if they release merchandise, let's say for little girls for the first time in Disney stores and it doesn't sell, they're not gonna reorder it. So everyone is asking, what can I do, what can I do? Is when it comes out, go support it. Because, I, you know, I appreciate the support for her universe, but it's actually, it's a bigger, it's a bigger platform. You're saying to those retailers, okay, if you're gonna open up this space, which is very valuable real estate, because realize for girls, you're taking that space away from Anna and Elsa. And I mean, those characters are just as popular. I'm not saying anything bad about Anna and Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> But realize that, that there's only so much room in a retail location, and so if they put in Star Wars stuff for girls, it, 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 you have to take something away. And if it doesn't sell as well as that princess shirt will sell, well then they're no longer gonna offer it. So I would just like honestly spread the word that when something does go in store, to go buy it, because that's the only way, the only way we're gonna change, that we're gonna, have change and so it is coming it's coming sooner than later but especially look for it this fall closer to episode seven and um i mean just thank you i mean everyone in this room <laughs> you guys are like the biggest supporters and and you i can't thank you enough i'm really i'm really mad that dress didn't come out before my wedding or i wouldn't have oh. dress. <laughs> so many girls have said they want it for their bridesmaids dresses too and i didn't even think about that i would oh gosh that'd be so cool <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Brian from Tashi Station Radio. I know. <laughs> um, six, seven years ago, the only option a lot of girls and women had was shopping the boys section for yeah. Star Wars merch. What's it been like going to like celebration Star Wars weekends the last few years and seeing so much more stuff for them and so much of it coming from your company? Oh gosh. Well, it, it's definitely been surreal. I mean, I. Um, I got a tweet the other day that like one of our Marvel dresses is in the Disney store in Times Square and I didn't know that because we sold it to marvelshop.com which was only supposed to be online and apparently they took some of our clothes and put it in the Disney store. Literally, I like almost started hyperventilating. It was so cool. So, it, it, you know, as a fangirl myself, it's it's surreal. It's, I mean, it's, it's exactly the change that I was talking about that I was hoping would happen. My goal when I started this, and we all started this, I say, because from the beginning I said to, you know, united we stand, divided we fall, like I can't do this on my own. And um, so to see it now happening, to see, you know, stuff for girls in these retail locations, and you know, my goal is eventually to have an equal, where little girls without even a question can walk into a Disney store and they can get stuff for Marvel and Star Wars for them. And, and I'm happy to say it's coming. And I do want to say Disney is listening. They really, really, really are listening. Um, there's so many great people that are working behind the scenes to make it happen. It just takes a while. Like that's the frustrating thing for me going through the process behind the scenes is, you know, when we have like an idea for this dress, I mean, we started on this nine months ago. So, you know, we, we know it, we know it's coming, but it just takes a while to get into stores. So good stuff is happening, um, and it'll just take a while to, to come out, but look, look for it starting this fall. A huge proponent of licensing, of getting a license for a property, and going about it the right way. And just to put it on like simple terms really, is it's easy to think of like Lucasfilm, a big company, of like, oh, well, they're so big, they won't notice if I, make merchandise using their name you know without getting a license and at the end of the day it still is somebody's property and it's somebody's ip that they work so hard and spend so much money to protect and to work on and you know the way that i look at it is is it is stealing from somebody's property sure. and so um and Sometimes people think like, oh, it, it doesn't affect the big companies. Well, I can tell you, we have been affected. Her universe has been affected by companies that don't have the license 
and they sell merchandise and trust me I'm the first person I, I am so supportive of all designers and entrepreneurs if you want to start your own company I'm the first person to say yes you know have at it but I am a big proponent of licensing and going about it the right way and there's so many licenses that that are looking for people to do the merchandise so if you have a, a, a new company and you want to get into licensing I guarantee you there's licenses out there that would be happy to work with somebody new. So I recommend, you know, going and just a approaching different licenses. I, I understand that I hit the jackpot in the lottery by being able to start with Star Wars. And I, I know I got that opportunity as the voice of Ahsoka. Um, so it, it's... it's a gift you've been given. To it, so if, it, it definitely was a gift. But I, I would just say there's so much work. Uh, it's worth it. It's it's awesome, but there is a lot of work behind the scenes. And I would just say, if you want to do merchandise for a license, go about it the licensing way and look into getting that license um, uh, properly. We do have the trademark for his universe, so maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> Not right away. I can tell you, we don't have anything in the works. So, <laughs> but but uh, it is it is on the you know horizon but I've always said that you know look at the floor it's his universe and I, I'm not gonna make something that's already being done well by someone else mm -hmm. so um, if there's something that I realize there's a need uh, and that we can do it and can fill it then I'd love to do that one day but right now um, I feel like fangirls we still have a lot that we can <laughs> we can do I am jealous though about someone else's clothes. <laughs> Man, I wish you could wear that shirt. That shirt's not, awesome. You know, it's not like you can't wear them. And the case in point, I think some of the men here have, the, have worn the leggings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, on our floor, um, just because I, I, I'm going to be very upfront, there's there's this uh, new brand of, of clothing we found, um, blank, blank shirts that we found that runs unisex. And it's not men's, it's not women's, it's unisex. And I tested it out and um, I loved it. It's soft, it's comfy, and I'm like, it's flattering and because it's more of a slim fit. And um, I felt like, you know what? Yeah, I, I wanna wear this. So uh, our Soka Lives shirt and our uh, May the Force Be With You sweatshirt, those are actually um, unisex garments. Uh, so guys, you can wear it too. So even though it says her universe, it is more of a unisex fit. It's just the Ahsoka Live shirt and small medium is uh, the the women's. Uh, it's more of a. It's a little more slim, so I would recommend that for the guys. But um, but the all the other sizes in the sweatshirt is is unisex. So I. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. And you'll see it's part. It's it's a slim cut and it's a um it's a tri blend material. It's really soft. So, uh, so yeah, so a lot of guys are wearing it. You'll see my husband, you'll see Dave Filoni, Henry Gilroy, you'll see everyone in it, so, yeah. Can I ask a question about sizing? Yes. It looks like it's getting more towards the junior sizing again, going by the sheet that was sitting at the booth. I mean, is that something we're gonna need to start readjusting towards, or? No, actually it'll be the opposite. Okay. And, and so we are working on a universal size chart now, okay. where once you become uh, like a medium in her universe, yeah. Hopefully you know that you'll be a medium in everything. Okay. However, um, this is the first time we've done woven dresses and skirts, and there's no stretch to them. Okay. So even though it's the same measurements, for some women, if, if a dress stretches, literally she may have to go two sizes up in this, and that is, I'll be honest, it's a mistake we made. We're learning, we've never, we've never uh, designed with this material before, and the fact that it just provides no stretch, um, it's definitely something we're learning from. So, so no, actually, it's going to be the opposite. We're trying to make it more true to size, um, and we are working on a true plus size line. It's mm -hmm. happening. We've hired um, a full time technical designer, and she's working on it right now. Have you thought about like, switching more from like this the small, medium, large to doing more of the numbering for things like this, where it doesn't stretch as much? Or um, yes. We're not quite there, it'll probably still stay, stay small, medium, large, extra large, but we are trying as hard as we can to make this sizing consistent. And um, unfortunately, we just didn't account for the fact that this doesn't have as much stretch. So, I mean, I'll be the first to say we made a mistake and, um, you know, for, for some girls it's fitting really nice, but uh, uh, for some girls they are saying that they have to go up a size or two and we're bummed about it, I'll be honest. Yeah. Uh, any chance 
you don't have any like uh, exclusive items um, for her universe during Star Wars weekends this year? Star Wars weekends, uh, it's going to pretty much be the same line. There's going to be a couple of new pieces. A couple pieces you're going to start seeing in Disney parks. So I'm happy to say that you can show up to Disney parks and start getting her universe dresses. Uh, so look for that. And that's, that's only going to get, we're working with them now, to have more of an offering. So, uh, so yeah, there will be a couple of new pieces that you've never seen before. Thanks for watching. Remember, follow her universe on Twitter and their official Facebook page. And also follow Geek Girl World on Facebook, Twitter, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. And visit our website, geekgirlworld.com. Thanks. Bye.